hello everybody today in this video i'm going to show you how you can mirror your phone screen on your computer so that you guys could stream or do anything that you guys wanted to create a content or whatever okay before we begin this video can you guys like this video let's aim for 20 likes that would be really amazing all right let's move to next step so the very first thing is that you guys need to download a power mirror all right and you guys will see this software a powerful patch with patch this is basically paid software so we are using the patch software i will scan this for you as well because i am not the bad guy who trying to hack your computer <laughs> yeah you can trust me so you can see that this is a paid version of advanced system care ultimate and we have no trade at at all you know so go ahead and install this first you guys need to right click open this up and click on yes and click on ok click on next yeah accept click on next click on next and one thing here is you need to uncheck the run the program when when they start because this will slow down the computer whenever you guys boot up your computer you know just uncheck this you don't need that and click on install and it should extract all the file on your c drive just like this there you go well you can uncheck the launch a power because we don't need to launch a power right now because we are going to patch it up so finish this up go to patch folder and copy this patch file then find uh, a power mirror on your desktop that you have installed just like this and right click here and then go to open file location just like this on this directory right click and paste the file so it's asking you guys to replace the file in the destination so simply you know just click on that tick mark and continue and there you go you guys have successfully patched the a power mirror which is healthy after this step you guys need to use phone so right now i will show you the screen recording who this from my phone let me record this three two one go all right so in your phone all you guys need to do is go to your phone setting scroll down and go to about phone and tap on software information and you will find their build number just like this and all you guys need to do is tap seven times on the build number and it will ask you the password or pin code whatever that you guys have used just input that and go back Go back to setting and you guys should see developer option so that's what we guys we will need you know so tap on developer option and all you guys need to do is enable this usb debugging because we need to use usb debugging or a power will use that adb shell you know so in case if you guys don't know or if still not working for you so go to google and download adb driver and your your phone model number name so for me it's uh, samsung s8 so for a samsung user you can download this basically the samsung will have the default you know so you guys don't need to install that so you guys will need to install this adb driver to work a power mirror you know perfectly so right now you guys can close that out and let me show you how it should be working so after you guys have enabled the developer option on your phone launch the a power mirror double click to open a power mirror make sure that you guys have the healthy usb connection okay i mean uh, make sure that your usb is not broken at least you guys need a really good usb cable enabled to screen mirror you know so it's going to install app so you can see that it's installed the chinese stuff here so do not worry about that it's not going to do anything or harm so click on retry now tap on start and there you go now you guys can even control from your computer to the phone you can see that well and this is on real time guys so with that mean you guys can play any games like PUBG mobile you guys can stream this using the software and it have really low latency you can see that it's perfectly working fine so let me play uh, some video for you so I'm going to play 
this one. Trying not to get a copyright as far as possible. You can landscape this. And one thing you guys can do here is you can go to setting. And on the capture setting, you can set this to high. Okay, the video quality, you can choose that. And MP4. And, you know, there are some settings that you guys should be using is uh, display. So this is what you guys need to choose. From 30, you should be choosing 60 FPS. So that you guys could uh, connect um, the stream. Okay, well, whatever you guys are streaming, it should be in a 60 FPS. There you go. You have a 60 FPS. And if you guys have the NVIDIA graphics card, make sure to choose D3DX because it's going to use DirectX. Okay. So play around with this software and you guys will learn more, much more about this software. You know, I just trying to help you guys to screen, um, screen mirror on your PC so that you guys don't need to spend, you know, heck of money for the Elgato or any kind of uh, hardware that you guys trying to buy just use this it's it's completely fine so yeah that's it guys check this playlist for more awesome videos just like this and make sure to like this video if you guys found this video really useful or helpful thank you so much for watching peace out